I'm Scott McLean, and this is an update for Friday, October 2nd, 2020. As nearly 17,000 firefighters continue to work towards containment on the 23 major wildfires across the state, red flag conditions continue throughout the day in parts of California, which will be testing all those major fires throughout the course of the day into tomorrow morning. Yesterday, crews also responded to 29 new wildfires, bringing full containment to each and every one of those. And we are currently receiving help from across the nation, from New Jersey, Montana, Utah, Texas, New Mexico, and Washington. And internationally, crews from Canada and Mexico are in the state helping us combat these fires. And we thank you all. Since the beginning of the year, there have been over 8,200 wildfires that have burned well over, well over, an estimated 3.98 million acres in California. Currently, over 53,000 residents are evacuated across the state. And sadly, the total number of fatalities statewide increased again yesterday to a total of 31, after another victim of the LNU Lightning Complex succumbed to their injuries. To date, nearly 8,000 structures have been destroyed. So taking a look at the map, again, you can see all the fires throughout the state that are still burning for the most part. Let's go to the Zog fire. This one's looking pretty good. You have an increase of uh, containment, 46%, burned 56,000 acres. They got line across the north side here, which is really good. They also still have the contingency lines built to the north, to the west, as well as to the east. So it's looking really good. We've got black line or containment line all the way down from Igo to 36, from Platina Road all the way down to 36. Their Sunny Hills Road right here, they're working on. They have a little bit of effort they need put in there. Otherwise, it's looking much better than it has in the previous days. And a lot of repopulations have been taking place. A lot of evacuation or, or warnings and orders have been removed. So good news there. Moving over to the glass fire. Look where we are. This is the LNU lightning complex right here from this earlier this year. So now we're, look, we're basically getting into or almost touching that previous fire. So the glass fire continues to burn, continues to give those firefighters a challenge. We're looking at 6% containment and burning 60,000 plus acres. Still a lot of work. Again, the red flag warnings, those winds are making it very difficult to get a handle on this particular fire. Not much growth over the night, but still a lot of work with the topography, the fuel types, and unfortunately the weather that's coming in. Angwin was mentioned last night by a lot of sources as far as homes burning in that town. Nothing is burned in that town. That town is still solid. Granted, it still has some uh, challenges ahead of it, as well as Calistoga, but no structure loss in either of those two towns. Moving on. We're looking at the August fire here. Again, it continues to grow. We're at 970,000 acres. I think yesterday I mentioned the Mendocino complex that burned 451,000 acres a couple years ago. Twice the size, if not more. We're looking at 51% containment. Uh, the containment slowly climbs, but we still have an awful lot of active fire on this fire. And you can see right here, this is actually the Zog fire creeping into the picture. Pretty much this fire is going to be contained, so I don't expect those two to join at all. And then we're going to the north complex. Looking really good around the most of the perimeter of this fire. A lot of black line in there, a lot of solid uh, hand lines, dozer lines, and containment. Except for, again, this particular area here, Highway 70. It continues to burn a little bit to the north and to the south as well. You can see the spot fire that's been contained there, but again... This fire has not crossed Highway 70. A lot of work is being done here on the other side of 70 to, with contingency lines to make sure if anything did develop, they would be caught very quickly. So, moving over the, to the weather. A red flag warning continues throughout the today into Saturday morning, 6 o'clock. And that's in the north and south bays, southern Mendocino County, western Lake County, and western Monterey County. And that's for gusty winds, those low humidities, and the temperatures are gonna be fairly high in certain areas. Uh, again, as you can see here, our red flag warnings. It was yesterday in Los, uh, Los Padres National Forest, but that has since been removed. So that's good news there. 
So if we go along, we look at the temperatures for today. Reading, 101. In some areas in the North State, possibly 103 degrees. Tahoe's up to 83. Fresno, 96, the Creek Fire. Sacramento, where we are today, 100 degrees. So you can see it is continuing to warm up and will do so possibly into tomorrow. And hopefully we'll start seeing that cooling trend uh, Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Friday's humidity, Reading, again, same, 11%. Tahoe, 13%. Sacramento, 16 The bay is uh, up to 36%, but again, there's low humidities over that glass fire causing some uh, consternation for that. And then our wind gusts. Again, the fires in the North State are going to be tested by the winds associated with the red flag warning still through today into tomorrow morning. Here it only shows 10 to 20 miles per hour, but Tahoe has increased to 20 to 30, Fresno 10 to 20, and Sacramento 10 to 20. Again, you're going to get a lot of different wind effects, a lot of eddying due to the topography on the glass fire, for an example, which causes erratic, dangerous fire behavior. So the firefighters continue to battle, and they're going to make some headway in the next, hopefully, early next week. So <laughs> watching the news forecast, the weather forecast this morning, there are predictions. I don't want to get your hopes up of a chance of light rain over the weekend of the 10th and the 11th of this month. The models are starting to go that way, but let's wait and see what happens. So there's one thing I want to add today, and that's the air quality. So as you see here, up and down the state, all these fires are pushing off that smoke, and that smoke transfers up and down the valley in the state. So not one fire, like the North Fire, is responsible for the smoke in the Chico area or, or Oroville area. It's up and down, it drifts that corridor. So here you can see the purple, which is very unhealthy. And that looks like it's over the glass fire, unfortunately. The red is listed as unhealthy, and you can see how far that drift is. And then of course, progressively orange is less and yellow is less. So, <clears throat> everyone in the state is affected by wildfire. California, I keep repeating this, historically experiences some of the most devastating wildfires in the months of September and October. We're well beyond that. We're dealing with it pretty much year round. So the reason I bring that up again is that you need to be prepared. You need to take that time to be prepared. Early in the year, you need to do your defensible space. If you're remodeling, home hardening, if you're building new, make sure you have those products that will help you get through wildfires if they do come into your area. Then, next step, you need to be prepared. You need to have your go bags ready to go. You need to make sure you know what you need to get in case there is a chance that wildfire comes into your area. And then I ask, I ask, I implore of you, if there is a warning, why not leave? An evacuation warning, what's it gonna hurt? Absolutely nothing. If it, they catch that fire right away, you can come back. But you're helping those firefighters and all concerned by leaving early to be able to get that big equipment, that heavy equipment into those fire areas to get the job done. The firefighters don't have to worry about you if you haven't left already. And the order is, of course, self-explanatory. You need to go. There's absolutely no question. I want you to leave. To learn more ways on how to prevent sparking a wildfire or what to do prior, during, and after, I ask that you go readyforwildfire.org. Thank you. Stay safe.